Caitlin Clark, Player of the Week again. Um, a lot here, man. I got some conspiracy theories about this, man. Um, I think they're doing this because they don't give her nothing, regardless of what Shaq said earlier about we not giving you nothing, just like everybody else gave you everything. No. Listen, this is her consolation prize for not being included in the MVP debate. Okay? So they're like, look, Caitlin, and I'm going to get to this tomorrow. I'm going in tomorrow on the MVP ladder. Okay? So look out for that video. Subscribe to the channel, too. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Um Caitlin, look, we got to jerk you on the MVP because the old heads are going to be really upset like they were for the Olympics. So you can't – it's basically the Olympics all over again. Whereas with the Olympics, your consolation prize was a, a month-long break. <laughs> this time your consolation prize will make you player of the week for, for the end of the season. You get to be player of the week. But you can't come to the MVP party. Um, and you're, you're a nice girl, and we you know you'll take it on the chin. Alyssa Thomas, she wouldn't take it like that. It would be hell to pay. Um, Asia Wilson, well, you know, Asia's the top player. But, you know, Brianna Stewart, oh, God, it would be hell to pay. Um, so just take this on the chin. And we'll give you this consolation prize. Um, you, 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 it's like on um, the Price is Right, man. Party gifts, <laughs> you know, partying gift <laughs> instead of the actual prize, man. Um, that's that's my conspiracy theory on this. And here's a thread from earlier in the season. Uh, with uh, two present WNBA players and a past WNBA player. Um, that former WNBA player, I think her name's Cheryl, Cheryl Swoop, oh, something, Cheryl something. Um, if you can, if you know how to pronounce that, um, put in the comment section and um, tell me if she was any good or, any, or not, you know. Um But yeah, uh, DJNA Carrington and Alyssa Thomas. So DJNA Carrington says Caitlin might lead the league in assists this year. This is April seventh. This is basically like right after the um, national championship. And Alyssa Thomas says, "Don't play with me, Nay." And Cheryl Swoops laughs. Cheryl Swoops, 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 whatever her name is. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I think Dijanae is a fan. Dijanae is a fan who realized very early on that the path to stardom was not being a fan but being a hater. And look at this now. We all know Dejanae's name. <laughs> and Dejanae has been quietly, if you want to take the, the Caitlin Clark hate MVP ladder, if you want to do that, I think you have, of course, Angel Reese. Then you have Cheryl Swoops. Then you have Cheryl Reeve, and then you have Asia Wilson and Dejanae Carrington kind of like vying there in Diana Taurasi. It's it's like a it's like a jumble for that for that fifth place because Diana Taurasi's kind of quieted down. Um, you know, since she you knows she can't beat Caitlyn. 
um, which is smart. You know, you just be quiet and, you know, drift off into the abyss. And Asia Wilson early on hating on Caitlyn, you know, about making it racial and all this stuff. But she's gotten destroyed for that. So she's um, kind of, you know, just been more focused on herself lately. She got, you know, her shoe deal. She's been getting a lot of, you know, um, she was declared the MVP before the season started. So and, and she's playing well. So she's kind of like there's nothing really for her to be mad about. But Dejanae is like she just pops up out of nowhere. Dejanae is like a jack in the box when it comes to hating Caitlyn, and she's dating one of Caitlyn's teammates. So I would think I think over Kate, Caitlyn is Dejanae a five on the Caitlyn Clark MVP, MVP hate ladder, you know, um, behind Angel. Angel would be first. What did I say? Angel. Then I said um, Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Reeve, Asia Wilson, no, then then would be Dejan A. Carrington, yeah. Um, there's a lot of haters, so many, I can't even remember. But um, Dejan A. was a fan, man. She was a fan. And that's important to know for kids, for me. It's important for me to, I'm, I'm older, so I know that, but a lot of your biggest haters are fans. A lot of your biggest haters are fans. Um, and some of your most vicious haters are fans. The ones with, with the it's the viciousness and the um animus and the venom in their hate, a lot of those people are fans or were fans, however you want to put it were fans or are fans. I mean, and what do you know? I mean, <laughs> Dijonay the prophet, man. All Dijonay got to do now is, like, get a white turban and a white robe and just walk around in white. Maybe she could carry a cane or something or a wand and just pre- declare herself <laughs> Dijanae the prophet. <laughs> she probably have a bigger following <laughs> if she do that than playing basketball, man. Um, wow. A lot of haters on this list. God, oh, Skylar Duggan Smith is fourth in the league. And Sabrina Ionescu is, Jesus, Kate, Caitlin is. You would think Sabrina would have more assists considering who she plays with, finishers. Um, Denija Laney. Um, Brittany, I mean, um, Brianna Taylor. I mean, <laughs> Brianna Taylor. <laughs> Brianna Stewart. Um, John Quell Jones, man, she plays with finishers, but not quite the assist person. We know that. We see that when we see them play. She just doesn't have the court vision Caitlin has. It's just not there. Let's just take a look back at Caitlin's senior year, which many say is the best season ever um, in college sports history. Um my God, I mean, just think about this, man. Leads the nation in scoring with 30-plus points. You, you got to understand, in college, usually somebody from a smaller college who plays in a smaller league against lesser competition, somebody who probably, you know, f- was a great player but didn't have the grades or um, was a late bloomer and went to, like, some smaller school out of the big, you know, the power four conferences now and, you know, just dominated lesser competition and scored a bunch of points. That's usually who leads the league in scoring, who leads division one in scoring in the men's, especially it's very rarely anybody from the ACC or the big 10 or the SEC that leads the nation in scoring. Um, 
So she leads the nation in scoring in a power four conference and leads the nation in assists. I mean, it's unbelievable, okay? Like, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> what a year, man. A championship in the WNBA, a WNBA championship seals this deal. She's the best ever. Hit the like button, subscribe, peace up, my dear.